Alright, yo, what's good everyone? Nick Smith is back. We're facing up against the Atlanta Hawks in this episode of the Los Angeles Lakers My Gem series. The Atlanta Hawks in this series. These guys are first in the conference. These guys are doing work. These guys lost Kyle Korver and they picked up Danny Green. That's how you know you're trading well. You lost one of the greatest three-point shooters of this era, but you picked up a really good three-point shooter that can also play that lockdown defense, which, you know, in real life, I wouldn't even be surprised if the Atlanta Hawks tried to make a trade like this because Danny Green can play that defense, whereas Kyle Korver, he cannot, he can't play that defense. We fade it out to Kobe Bryant, and he obviously makes that. Now, in real life, Kobe's been struggling a little bit. But uh, in this My Gem series, I'm trying to get his form right. And you're going to see that the reason I really hopped into this game was because I wanted to see how we match up against the top team in this My Gem series. How well can we actually play? And you're going to see that we struggle right here. We're down by 8 points. And this man, Kelly Oubre, hits that 3 and gets us back in this game. We play that good defense right there with Julius Randle. I feed it up to Sonny Weems while J.R. Smith is injured. Kelly Oubre gets that and one to go, and he brings us back in this game after being down by eight points, which is really good. Kelly Oubre stepped it up. I'm so happy I picked up Kelly Oubre. Now, off the bench is what I really like, because what I do is I, when J.R. Smith is back, I take a shot with J.R. Smith on the first possession down, Next possession down, I go with Kelly Oubre, J.R. Smith, Kelly Oubre, J.R. Smith, Kelly Oubre, just back and forth with um, with our bench unit, and it really gets us back in this game, which is really nice, because maybe not in this game right here, but it gets us back in a lot of games that I play. This man, Hassan Whiteside, he doesn't even need, he doesn't even need to do anything. He just stands there and gets blocks. The other day, he got 10 blocks. He got a triple-double, man. Hassan Whiteside got a triple-double with blocks, rebounds, and points. Hassan Whiteside is beasting and feasting. And I'm really loving our lineup of Boogie at the 4, Hassan Whiteside at the 5. Now, if we do end up playing a team like Golden State or just a team that has... And look at Boogie right there. I have to zoom in on that. He's celebrating. It looks so sick right there. It looks like that Sean Kemp celebration when he threw it down. I don't know if you guys know about that, but look at that. <laughs> just get that out of here. But one... One time, Sean Kent absolutely yammed on someone, and uh, he did a crazy celebration. Look at that. Talking about yamming on people, this man, Kelly Oubre. Now, what I was saying was, uh, I'm really liking our lineup of, uh, oh yeah, no. Well, I was saying that if we face a team like Golden State, who has a really small, well, not small, but you know, not as tall of a stretch four like Draymond Green, then... I'm probably going to run Julius Randle at the 4 position just because he can mash up well on someone like Draymond Green. Whereas Boogie is a bit too slow for Draymond Green. Or, you know what I mean, like, it's just harder for him to match up on Draymond Green. But he'll still he'll still get the start at the 5. And look at that cheese. That's how you know it's on Hall of Fame. Danny Green just got that crazy dunk. And this is what I love about the 1-2 punch. Asana Boogie, it's not even a 1-2 punch, it's the Twin Towers. It's the Beast Towers. That's what I'm calling these guys. These guys are the Beast Towers. Get that out of here. Boogie and Hassan get so many blocks. It's crazy to watch. It's crazy to play. They feed each other. They do work with each other. It's nice to see it happen. And play with these guys is just, it's just too fun. It's too fun to play with these guys. Hassan Whiteside gets that easy lap to go on a switch with, uh, I think it was Damari Carroll guarding him. And I throw it up to Kelly Oubre, who started to play really, really well in this game again. He got he started off hot, got a little bit of a cold streak, and then he just turned, he just turned up. He just turned up. Yeah, Pulse drive, boy. Oh my goodness. Sit your ass down. Kelly Oubre just sat. Who even? That was like Josh McRoberts. Yeah, in real life, he plays for the Heat. He has to get off the Heat after that dunk. That was crazy. Kobe doing what he does best. Unfortunately, he didn't get that shot to go with the. Uh, yeah, it was too late. And so we were tied 57 to 57 in the fourth quarter. And uh, we had to try and get this win. But Damari Carroll started off hot. He hit two threes back to back. Danny Green got this mid-range to go. And soon enough, they were up by nine points. And uh, yeah, 
Paul Millsap, crazy layup. I don't know how he made that. He did. So we tried to get back in this game. Unfortunately, though, our luck was definitely not on our side. Boogie gets that missed dunk. Our Horford gets denied right there, which, man, we get that nice defense. But then, obviously, with our luck, we get a turnover and they get a wide open dunk. Al Horford gets denied again. This man, Al Horford, he couldn't do nothing in this game because our Beast Towers? <laughs> our Beast Towers were just doing work. Jabari Parker actually played alright in this game, but you didn't really see many of his uh, many of his highlights in this episode because he was actually at the free throw line majority of the time, I think. Al Horford gets denied! Whew! Did you just see that by Boogie? And look at our luck. We miss and we get that rebound and the bucket right there. The fact that Boogie missed that first like layup though, that was bad. So he redeems himself right there with a crazy layup. Look at this layup right there. That, that's called ball movement. And then a crazy layup with Demarcus Cousins. This man in real life, I don't know if I already talked about this, but he is hitting threes. I wish in this My Jam series, Demarcus Cousins could hit threes. Unfortunately, he can't because, you know, the rosters up, don't update as you play this My Jam series. And when I started the series, I was like one day after the uh, season had started or something like that. So, yeah, I didn't get the full update of DeMarcus Cousins being able to hit three-point shots. I don't know how I made that. And I'm actually kind of back in this game. Unfortunately, though, bad shot right there. And we lose this game by six points. Which, yeah, I mean, I'm not too upset because it, it shows us that we can compete up against some of the best teams in the NBA. And facing up against the Atlanta Hawks, they, they're the best team in, the, in this My GM series. And with Danny Green added to this team, although you might not think he's a great player, he adds a lot to the Atlanta Hawks. That three-point shooting and that lockdown defense, it's kind of like a mini Clay Thompson. A little bit. <laughs> a little bit. A little bit, yeah. But that's our stat line right there. And as you can see, I'm simulating all the way up to the next game, which we're gonna play. We're gonna face up against the New York Knicks because these New York Knicks have Carmelo Anthony, Dwayne Wade, and Al Jefferson with Kristaps Porzingis. This team is nice. The only problem is Melo was out when I had to face these guys. So uh, yeah, we never actually. Yeah, I mean, we never got to face up against Melo. But it's been Bond Smith. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. I did. I enjoyed commentating. But yeah, leave a like if you guys enjoyed. Subscribe to a new. I'm out. Peace.